the thing that I think that I bring to the table, if you will, in this setting is the ability to get a successful result in very difficult cases. These cases are difficult to try, the medicine is difficult, it takes a tremendous amount of preparation and attention to detail which I and my firm bring to these cases. And because of that, we're able to achieve results that, frankly, other firms don't. Uh, I get settlements for $10 million. Uh, you can only get a settlement for $10 million in a case uh, of an injured baby uh, when the other side respects your ability to go ahead and try that case and get a result uh, equal or greater than that. But a settlement, of course, avoids the trial, avoids the risk of the trial, avoids appeals, uh, and it is uh, our firm's ability to do that kind of work, I think, that uh, distinguishes us from other firms. There are basically two types of injuries in birth uh, settings, uh, cerebral palsy, uh, or some degree of uh, cognitive dysfunction. It can be not, you can have cognitive dysfunction without cerebral palsy. You can have uh, ADHD, for instance, and we've handled those cases, which are caused by lack of oxygen at birth. Um, or you can have what's called herbs palsy. Uh, those are the typical uh, settings in which parents have uh, come to us and um, are seeking legal advice. Birth injuries can occur across the entire socioeconomic spectrum. Uh, and our clients uh, range from uh, uh, people on the Upper East Side, uh, people from the Bronx, people from Brooklyn, uh, high economic status, low economic status, people who have not had children before, young people, people who have uh, had children before, uh, people who have had uh, cesarean sections and are now having a vaginal birth after cesarean section. So it encompasses the entire range of New York population. There's nothing more tragic than to deal with a mother who has uh, carried a baby to term and has done everything in her power to be healthy, do all the right things during that pregnancy, uh, have a baby that is normal, and then go into a delivery room and have an event occur and that baby becomes brain damaged for life with tragic, serious consequences. There's nothing more heart-wrenching than that. Uh, there's nothing more devastating to a family uh, to have gone through all that and now have a life where they have to care for and treat a disabled child.